Hey guys, it's another Mayhem Minute for March 27, 2015 for WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please go over there, subscribe to this and other shows on your iTunes, YouTube, wherever it may be. And please check out our friends, including IndieWrestling.us, where there's great, great wrestling over there from the Pittsburgh area and beyond, including documentaries for our Montreal Theory and Finding Zach Gallon, all kinds of fun stuff. And we got a special WrestleMania special this week. Use the code MANIA when you check out with any digital download over there for 25% percent off so it is wrestlemania season we're getting so much more going on we have a wrestlemania access uh why do you hope you guys are watching the wrestlemania today and then seeing what's going on there actually some really really cool packages but the big news of course we already had the wrestlemania kickoff was going to have um uh this match of the four-way tag team championship match with uh tyson king and cesaro uh new day uh matadors and the usos um, but not only that, they appear to be moving up the the Andre the Giant Battle Royal to the pre-show as well, to the kickoff show. Um, kind of a surprise, to be honest. It makes you wonder, as they're in there, you know, you know Vince and a couple of writers are just hauled up there in, in a hotel room somewhere around uh, Silicon Valley. And uh, they're... They're wondering, okay, they're timing out the show, and they're like, ah, let's just bump this up. Um, I, I don't know if it was originally the plan, what it might have been, but I, I feel like something something got added. Maybe maybe Kid Ink wants an extra 10 minutes on to his set. Who knows? Um, or maybe they're doing something. Maybe uh, Mark Zuckerberg's going to come out and uh, and give everybody a new Facebook phone. I don't know. Uh, they are in Silicon Valley, and I'd love to see. I, I actually personally, as a, as a geek, as a tech geek, would love to see some kind of tech spin on this i don't think we've seen it too much going into it but you never know what they're going to do you know and i don't but then again will the crowd react if you have like an eric schmidt from google pop up you know um or you have like a uh, i don't know the the miz wearing google glass wouldn't that be amazing if uh, they unveiled the new google glass at wrestlemania huh there's a show crossover anyways um but uh I don't know. I, I, you know, everybody's like, "Oh, it's on the kickoff." Oh no! But also remember, one the the kickoff shows for pay per views also led to uh, what I think was most of, one of the most fun moments uh, in recent memory when we had the We LC match with Hornswoggle and uh, El Torito and, and, and you know their handlers involved as well. Very highly entertaining match. I thought a lot, a lot of fun. Um, so maybe we'll get something like that. But even like going through th these 30 days of WrestleMania, I keep seeing the flashback to, well, in the pre-show, this is what happened. And guess what? On WWE Network, we don't have access to the pre-shows to check out that Battle Royal or Tag Team Championship match, which happens so many times, right? Uh, before WrestleMania, not at WrestleMania. Also, this effectively turns us into a five-hour wrestling show. A five-hour wrestling show. The pre-show match was usually like, I don't know, like 45 minutes to, something like that. A lot of time for people to get in. Uh, but now you have this. And, and it really kind of uh, disheartens me that you have something like, you know, the dedicated Andre the Giant Memorial happening in maybe a half-full arena there in Silicon Valley. Um, that concerns me that, that it's, been, it's being downplayed to that extent. But, hey, it's wrestling. It's what it is. So... Um, I was a little peeved that when they had the post show and like half the people left in Buffalo for Rusev's big title win they did exclusively on, on WWE Network. But um, I wonder if they're still looking at that as a, a, a big win for what they got out of that. But anyways, but why let me know what you think about the uh, kickoff show movements for the Andre the Giant Battle Royal in general. Do, do you think the tag team belt should have been popped up there? We're down to one tag team belt. Why isn't that on the show? When we got everything else being defended. Although I gotta say, this is probably the most titles being defended at a WrestleMania in probably a good long time. So let me know what you think. Comments to this video at Sorgatron on Twitter at Mayhem Show or uh, on the Facebook group Wrestling Mayhem Show as well. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.